Introduction Shamila, in our last discussion we studied definition of animals, types of animals, characteristics of animal kingdom, various levels of organization, body symmetry, diploblastic and triploblastic organization, coelom, segmentation, notochord, division of animal kingdom, characteristics of invertebrates, characters of porifera, coelenterata and tenophora. Yes, now we are going to discuss characteristics of platyhelminthes, asclementhes, annelida, arthropoda, mollusca and echinodermata. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Understand various characteristics of platyhelminthes, Ascalaminthus, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca and Echinodermata. Platyhelminthus Platyhelminthus have dorsoventrally flattened body, hence are called flatworms. Platyhelminthus are mostly endoparasites found in animals including human beings. Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and acylomate animals with organ level of organization. Hooks and circles are present in the parasitic forms. Specialized cells called flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion. Sexes are not separate. Fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages. Some members like planaria possesses high regeneration capacity. Example, tinea, that is tapeworm, fasciola, that is liver fluke. Ascalaminthus The body of the ascalaminthus is circular in cross-section, hence the name roundworms. Ascalaminthus may be free-living, aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals. Ascalaminthus are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and pseudo-solomate animal. Roundworms have organ system level of body organization. Elementary canal is complete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body waste from the body cavity through the excretory pore. Sexes are separate or dioecious, that is, males and females are distinct. Often females are longer than males. Example, Ascaris, that is, roundworm, Eucheraria, that is, Filaria worm, and Silostoma, that is, hookworm. Annelida Annelids may be aquatic, that is, marine and freshwater, or terrestrial, free-living and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. Annelids are triploblastic, metamerically segmented and solomate animals. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metamers, which is a Latin word meaning annulus little ring and hence the phylum name Annelida. They possess longitudinal and circular muscles which help in locomotion. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia the singular for nephridia is nephridium, help in osmoregulation and excretion. Neural system consists of paired ganglia. The singular of ganglia is ganglion, connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Neuris, an aquatic form, is dioecious, but earthworms and leeches are monoecious. Reproduction is sexual. Example, Neuris. Ferretima, that is, earthworm, and herodinaria, that is, blood-sucking leech. Arthropoda Arthropoda makes up 75% of the animal kingdom. Arthros means joint, poda means appendages. The largest groups of arthropods are insects. They are the only invertebrates that can fly. They have organ system level of organization. They are 
bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, segmented and solomates. The body consists of head, thorax and abdomen. Arthropods have hard external body, segmented body and jointed legs. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs or tracheal system. Circulatory system is of open type. Sensory organs like antennae, eyes, that is compound and simple, statocyst or balance organs are present. Excretion takes place through Melphigian tubules. They are mostly dioecious. Fertilization is usually internal. They are mostly oviparous. Development may be direct or indirect. Spiders have jointed legs, eight legs, jaws and fangs. Centipedes uses its many legs to run from enemies. Millipedes roll up their bodies when they sense danger approaching. Economically important insects. Apis, that is honeybee. Bombix, that is silkworm. And lecipher, that is lac insect. Vectors, anophilus, culex and aedes mosquitoes. Gregarious pest, locusta that is locust living fossil that is lumulus or king crab examples beetle millipede centipede spider crab mollusca mollusca is the second largest animal phylum mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic marine or fresh water having an organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and colomate animals. Body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented with a distinct head, muscular foot and viscural hump. A clam has two shells joined together by a hinge. Only a few do not have shells. Squids and octopuses are also mollusks. Their hard shells are small but they are inside their bodies. Example, octopus and sea slug. A soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the viscural hump. The space between the hump and the mantle is called the mantle cavity, in which feather-like gills are present. They have respiratory and excretory functions. The anterior head region has sensory tentacles. The mouth contains a file-like rasping organ for feeding called radula. Examples, snail and sea scallop, octopus and sea slug. Echinodermata Echinodermata have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and hence the name Echinodermata which means spiny skin or spiny bodied. All echinodermates are marine with organ system level of organization. The adult echinodermates are radially symmetrical, but larva are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic and coelomate animals. It belongs to a group of invertebrates that have tiny tube feet and body parts arranged around a central area. A starfish has five arms and no head. The hard spiny covering of the starfish gives the animal protection. A sea urchin belongs to the same group. Its body is covered with spines. Digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower ventral side and anus on the upper dorsal side. The most distinctive feature is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion, capture and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Sexes are separate. Reproduction is sexual. Fertilization is usually external. Development is indirect with free swimming lava. Examples Asterius, that is starfish, Echinus, that is sea urchin, Antedon, sea lily, Cucumeria, sea cucumber, and Ophiura, brittle star. Did you know? Gorgon Bohr coined the term Platai Helminthus in 1859. Lamarck coined the term 
Annelida in 1809. Jay Clean coined the term Echinodermata. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The Platai Helminthus have flat body and exhibit bilateral symmetry. As Calaminthus are pseudocylomates and include parasitic as well as non-parasitic round worms. Annelids are bilaterally symmetrical and have closed circulatory system. Earthworms, Neres, Hirudinaria, Sea Mouse and Leech belongs to Annelida. Earthworm is metamerically segmented. Earthworm has tube within tube plan. The arthropods are the most abundant group of animals characterized by the presence of metameric segmentation, exoskeleton and jointed appendages. Largest number of species occurs in the class Insecta of phylum Arthropoda. Fly, mosquito and cockroach belong to class Insecta. In Insecta group, the body is divisible into head, thorax and abdomen. They have three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. Filaria, malaria, dengue, sleeping sickness and yellow fever are caused due to insects. The mollusks have a soft body surrounded by an external calcareous shell. The body is covered with external skeleton made of chitin. Mollusca are differentiated from others by mantle and non-segmented body. A loose mantle is present over the body in mollusks. The echinoderms possess a spiny skin and are marine. Their most distinctive feature is the presence of water vascular system. Echinodermata have unsegmented coelom, superficial radial symmetry in adult and bilateral symmetry in lava. They also have oral and aboral surfaces.